Let's go down to Rome's. So kicking ain't easy uh, as us Minnesota fighting Vikings fans know. We're Vikings fans. Kickers always kick us in the nuts. Hmm. Uh, but the Vikings have recently signed uh, a new guy who's going to break our hearts with his foot in John Parker Romo. Uh, and uh, Pelissero's got the details. The Vikings are signing former XFL kicker John Parker Romo per source. Romo previously spent time with Detroit, New Orleans, and Chicago, uh, but hasn't kicked in an NFL game. Uh, he won kicking guru Gary Zahner's competition Saturday with a 54-yard field goal and got three offers. Also, uh, Parker did kick with the XFL San Antonio Brahmas last season. He was first team uh, all XFL as well as led, led the league in field goals last year. Uh, he was 17 to 19, 89.9%, and he was you know, 7 to 7 from 49, 40 to 49, 2 or 3 from 50 to 59, along 57. And, and in the tag. Uh, at Virginia Tech, he, he made all his extra points. Awesome. Oh, by the way, he, he was teammates with Christian Derrissaw uh, back in Blacksburg at Virginia Tech. We'll love to see that, man. And also, uh, so John Parker Romo, we got to get this out of the way. Uh, no. No, he is not related to Tony Romo, but that would be hilarious, especially given Tony Romo's infamous connection with kicking. It's just great, man. Also, so we need to talk about this, where people who go by all three of their names kind of creep me out because I feel like most serial killers, serial killers, also go by three names. Now, is it a, is it a conversation about causation or correlation? Do people become serial killers because they have three names? Or are serial killers identified in the news by all three names? Because, I mean, if the guy's name is like John Smith, like there's a lot of John Smiths. Hey, you know who's a serial killer? John Smith. But if it's John Ezekiel Smith, or John Ezekiel Balthazar Smith, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, he, he's the Jebs killer. John Ezekiel Balthazar Smith or something like that. Anyways, I feel like if you go by three names, the chances of you being a serial killer, eh, they go up. They, they go up. Now, there's only one kicker that the Vikings should be signing. Of course, that's destroying. Also, what's interesting is that so John Parker Romo was the kicker for the San Antonio Brahmas uh, last year. But after the merger, the San, uh, the San Antonio uh, Brahmas kicker this year, destroying. All right, so it's just a matter of time, man. Uh, he is going to make the leap. Now, the Vikings you know, did run it back with Greg Joseph. Uh, he's been the Vikings kicker for a couple of seasons. But, I mean, Joseph led the league and misses last year with nine. So whether it's field goals, whether it's extra points, I feel like the extra points hurt even more because they, they changed the dynamic of a couple of the games. But, you know, Joseph has had clutch moments, but also he seems to just miss gimmies uh, at, at times. And as of right now, so I, I still want to rule out the Vikings adding another kicker. Uh, I think that they will go into training camp with two kickers on the 90-man roster. But, I mean, do the Vikings bring back Joseph at a reduced rate? Do they bring in a guy like Joey Sly or Nick Folk, even though he's 75,000 years old? I, I don't see a world where they just roll with the kid and be like, hey, you're our guy. So I think that there will be competition. More than likely, uh, it will be a combination of uh, Parker Romo uh, as well as rookie uh, undra undrafted rookie TBD. Uh, so we'll just go for there. But like I said, the history is there. The, the history is there. And uh, again, again, we need to dig deep because I, I feel like what what's that genealogy show on, on PBS? I feel like we have to find a connection between uh, John Parker Romo and Tony Romo. Like their their 17th grandfathers or 17th cousins were brothers or something like that. Just we, we need that. We need that bloodline connection or, or something. Like that. Also, hey, it should be a rule that you can't. Uh, broadcasters cannot call games of their relatives. So that means if John Parker Romo is actually related to Tony Romo, Romo and Nance could never call a Vikings game, which would be delightful. That's all. That's all, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. A Viking sign a new kicker. It's surely going to work out. Yeah. I listen to your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.